Okay, uh, the BMW that we're in right now, the dashboard is lit up like a Christmas tree as you can see. We've got the traction light, the brake light and the ABS warning light. Uh, we're going to demonstrate the Autel MD702 which is uh, this diagnostic tool here which is available from uh, Diagnostic World. You can click the link directly below this video or you can just visit www.diagnostic-world.com so what we're going to do first of all is show you how to diagnose the, uh, the fault such as this. You click on the DSC, Dynamic Stability Control, it might be ASC or ABS uh, in the menu depending on which vehicle you're in. We're going to click on read codes. It's giving us a fault here of 5DC0, wheel speed sensor rear right. So that looks like it's a faulty ABS sensor. Uh, on the rear right hand side of the vehicle. It's quite good news in a way because the ABS sensors are quite a cheap fix. Uh, anything else you could be looking at a uh, faulty ABS module or an ABS pump which are quite expensive to fix. Uh, so this is probably the lesser of two evils in all honesty. Uh, so what we need to do is get the rear right hand wheel off, we need to remove the ABS sensor, put a new ABS sensor in which we'll get from Dominator Auto Diagnostics and then um, come back into the vehicle, see if we can erase some fault codes and get rid of the ABS warning lights. Okay, so we need to get this wheel off now. Alright, so we have the wheel off. I'm going to show you the ABS sensor. This is the ABS sensor itself, I'm not sure how well you can see that. Let's see if I can get a light on it. So that's the ABS sensor there. If we follow the cable, what it does is it goes through here, underneath there, and then up to this box here. That's where you need to remove it. And that's the connection undone right there. And the other end of it is just an Allen key. Okay, so these are the ABS sensors which are actually suitable for this car. Um, this one here is the rear sensor. And you can see the part number there. Um, and these are the front ABS sensors. The two, one for the left and one for the right. Two different parts there. Uh, what you want to do is log on to uh, Dominator Auto Diagnostics for these sensors. It's www.bavariandominator.co.uk and you'll be able to pick up these ABS sensors. Uh, please note though that um, if your vehicle is slightly different to ours, the ABS sensors that you're, you're looking for might also be slightly different. Um, so do have a look on our YouTube channel because we do have a guide on how to find the right ABS sensor for your vehicle. Uh, or you can send us a message, send us an email and we'll get that information to you, no problem at all, and tell you which sensor you need to buy. This is the website here. If you look on the left hand side, you've got options for ABS sensors. That's what you need to click on to. All right, so we are back in the vehicle now. Um, we've put a new ABS sensor in, which we got from Dominator Auto Diagnostics. Um, what we need to do really is uh, see if we can erase the trouble codes and get rid of these warning lights from the dashboard. So, I'm click on erase codes, click yes to that, erase codes command sent. So, we'll just come out of this, and there you see the ABS lights have disappeared from the dashboard there. So that's excellent news, um, successful diagnose and reset. The brake light incidentally is on because we do actually have the handbrake on. Um, so once we remove the handbrake, we'll just, that light will turn off, so don't worry about that. Um, this is the MD702, as I say, it is available from www.diagnostic-world.com or you can click the link directly below this video if you are watching it on YouTube, on our YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope this video has helped you.